In a world visited by alien scum, one man will click to play. The visitor returns. This says ArcadeBomb.com. I'm not at ArcadeBomb.com. I'm actually at Congregate with a K. Um, so, a while back, I played The Visitor, which is an awesome point-and-click, I'm going to say puzzle game, about an alien that comes to Earth and eats various uh, animals and gains mutations and then kills some humans, and then that's kind of the end of the game. Uh, watch the video. It's pretty awesome, and actually the ending to that video made it onto my top ten list of uh, cool LP moments. Anyway, this is The Visitor Returns by Zbarf, also known as Zbarth. You thought it was just being funny. Um, since then, since he made the original Visitor in 2007, Zbarf now has his own little gaming kind of company, and that is Clickshake. I guess he works with Steve Castro and Sergio Mirasan. Um, and they have an account at Newgrounds, and they've released a f couple flashes, I think like three flash games or something, on Newgrounds under Clickshake. And they even left a blog post on Newgrounds that said, Coming this Halloween, the visitor returns. But it didn't come to Newgrounds. They didn't post the game there. And that's why I'm on Congregate with a K uh, to play this. Click to play. And I did this intro once before, and then I found out that my uh, Camtasia was not recording the game audio, so I had to start over again. Fortunately, I noticed it right at the beginning. So if this game works, and this is awesome, look right here. Whoa. Real fast. Click the environment to devour and assimilate your prey. We require more minerals. And there is our lovely visitor, who looks just like he did last time. I'm going to assume this is a different one that's happening at the same time as the other one. They just landed in different parts of the world. So here's this chubby little raccoon, and he's trying to get in the trash can. Unfortunately, the trash can is closed and locked. Has anyone ever seen a trash can like this before? Did they invent this, or does this actually exist? Alright. Now, the reason this is a puzzle game is because if I just went over here and tried to eat the raccoon, the raccoon's like, uh-uh, and totally squishes me. All right, so we got to find our way in. And I actually, I played through this, and it was, uh, I figured out the puzzles really quickly, so it's not that difficult, but let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, there's a couple things to click. You click on this, nothing happens. You click on that, nothing happens. You click on this, nothing happens. You can click on the light bulb, nothing happens. My biggest issue with point-and-click games is always trying to figure out where you can click. But you can open this, and now we have a hammer. Let's bash it with a hammer. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's hit this with a hammer. Nope, that didn't work. Let's hit this with a hammer. Nope, that didn't work. Huh, okay. Oh, let's hit the lock. Nope, that didn't work either. What if we hit this. Oh yeah, there you go. Alright, a couple other things we gotta do. Uh, let's pull that that out. Let's knock this down. And scare off the raccoon, but then he sees that there's nasty, nasty garbage, so he's gonna eat that. Now, if I go and try and eat the raccoon while he's busy, oh, he's like totally squish, and I'm dead now. So we, we gotta find a way to get rid of the raccoon again. Now here's where you find out, oop, you can click that. And then you can click that, and then you can turn on the lawnmower. And he runs away, because, as you know, all animals are afraid of lawnmowers, just like vacuum cleaners. Now we can hide in the dirty, dirty filth, turn off the mower, he comes back. Oop, did you see that? That is disgusting. And now I look like some sort of weird badger kind of creature. I've got big, huge claws. So now we move a little bit more forward, and G... If there isn't a bunch of animals eating a bunch of garbage around this trailer. This is the same trailer you can see in the background in the last screen. Okay, so now we have to find a way. Let's, if we just go right for the skunk. Oh, we get gassed and we back up. <laughs> I like his little mouth when he does that. I actually figured this one out pretty easily. Uh, there's something that looks like something in there. You can touch this can... Uh, you can touch a log. 
You can touch... Oh, you can touch there. So that's that. You can touch this newspaper. You can touch this can of beans. And you can grab this, which must be a lighter, and light the paper on fire. And then that, boop, in what must be the quickest fire in all of history, explodes. And rather than scaring the skunk off, the skunk actually gets closer because he wants to eat those delicious, delicious beans. Now, once again, if we try and go after the skunk, he's got our number. And this time we're even walking forward. So he's like, uh-uh. Ah, and again with that cute little mouth opening up. So now you're looking all over the screen. We can touch this can, but nothing comes of it. We can touch this window, but we can't throw the can through the window. What happens if we just click the window? Can we crawl in through that glass? And maybe now that the skunk is out of the way, we can get to the glass, and this is the goal. And now we can progress to the next screen, or we can just kind of sit there and decide, nah, we're not done yet. And now, it's at this point that you might notice, or you've probably noticed before, but I first noticed this. So crawl up that pipe in. Oh, I can't reach it. How are we going to get whatever the heck that is down closer to this web? Well, let's pick up the can and throw it at the web. And now we've gotten that spider to come further down, and we can grab it. Jump. And I ate it. And now I have a big, giant butt. And now, let's see who wins the battle of the butts. Will it be the visitor, or will it be the skunk? Oh, wait, I win. And now for more blood and guts and gore and oh, delicious skunk meat. Whoa, I completely blew its butt off. And now I'm even uglier. Let's go inside. Head on through the window. <laughs> Innuendo. <laughs> I saw him throw something and went innuendo. <laughs> That's a redneck word. Ooh. There we go. Spray your skunk gas in the window. This guy opens up the window. This is the window here. There's a very large, ugly dog. Not exactly the best drawn dog I've ever seen. There's a couple things to click on. We can click on the dog. And I don't know how well you can hear that, but he barks and then the guy goes, Shut up, you stupid dog. We can... Uh, for whatever reason, he has a scorpion as a pet. Yup. So we'll go ahead and eat that while we're at it. Uh, there's a cabinet. Oh. The dog barks at us. There's another cabinet. Ooh, there we go. And I can throw some hot... <laughs> throw some hot dogs on the ground. And unlike every dog in the history of ever, that dog does not immediately run over and try and eat the hot dogs. And when he says, go outside, the dog goes outside. Again, completely ignoring the hot dogs. So there's that. There is a... Let's try this cabinet. Bad dog, get outside. <laughs> Somehow the dog knows we're going for that cabinet. Alright, there's dishes. Nope. Bad dog, get outside. Dog is still totally messing with us. I actually never clicked him. How does he kill us? Oh, nope, the dog just comes in and barks again. That's your one-stop shop. But we can go outside. And he's barking at us. So we'll just go ahead and hit him with our web. And sting him. And eat him. And now we've got big old crocodile jaws. Because why the heck wouldn't we? Now we can get in here without the dog barking at us. And what is this? Some bug spray. And what is this? A lighter. And what do you get when you combine lighter and bug spray? Fire. Wait, that didn't hit him? Oh, there we go. Now he spilled his whiskey on his sleeve. And now the fire will light him on fire. I also love how nonchalant he is about the fact that there's fire there. Because, <laughs> I mean, he, the fire went after him twice. You're just sitting there, you're drinking, and then suddenly there's a huge gout of flame that comes shooting across the room. But it didn't hit you, so why would it matter? Ooh, someone screamed. And so then you're drinking, and, <laughs> and you spill some of your drink on yourself because the dish is rattled. And then a second gout of flame, and then you're like, oh no, I gotta get that fixed at some point. Better just pat that down. 
And just to show you how how little I drink, um, just now is when I noticed that this was alcohol. I thought he was just drinking, like, lemonade or something, and this looked like a bottle of uh, pancake syrup to me. Anyway, this lady now is screaming, so let's go pay her a visit. Oh, hello. She's going to shoot us. Let's go outside. Let's crawl in through her window. Surely she won't notice us there. Ooh. Ow. Also, is it just me or does this guy look like a couple pieces of sushi? What do we have in here? A beer. Yeah, that'll help. Here, have a drink. <laughs> I used my mind powers because I haven't moved at all, but I was able to open that up and fling a beer into the air. Now we'll climb in. Because she's she must be out of bullets, right? Surely she's out of bullets. Oh, nope, she's not out of bullets. What about this one? Nope, she's not out of bullets. How about this one? Oh, still has some bullets. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the way to do this. There's a number of endings in this game. First, we need to... She's got a gun. It's trained on us. We look freaky as all get out. How do we get her to drop the gun? We skunk gas her. And now, while she's down... Wrap her head in web, and she suffocates. Suffocation. I'm kind of... In the last game, you kind of had to figure out that there were multiple endings. And on the one hand, that's kind of cool. And on the other hand, if you didn't figure it out, you never knew there were multiple endings. In this one, they tell you there are multiple endings. I also think they could have gotten away with each of these being just a black bar with like a question mark at the end. So that they don't tell you what the what the uh, endings are. I am not going to go back and put in the end, or it could have happened this way kind of clips this time. So let's gas her. And sting her. Dunk. Ooh. Ow, that's like right in the tongue. Envenomation. Fatality. Okay. Well then, let's gas her. And then bite her. Hump. That's kind of gross. That's pretty disgusting. I actually think that the guy in the kitchen was probably the most disgusting when you bite his neck and you see his tongue flapping out. Gas her. And then let's claw her to death. Oh, she's not dead yet. I have to... I wonder how long she'll bleed before anything happens. Bueller. Bueller. Okay. Well, let's go with the teeth. Tasty. Must be Valentine's Day. Evisceration. Now let's try again. Alright, let's gas her. Let's use our claws. Open up a hole, and this time let's stick our tail in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just pluck her heart out. That's exactly how it works in real life, too. Ventricle penetration. Uh... I don't think this is how you spell ventricle. I believe it's CLE. Ventricular penetration. Okay, so now we need to get... I don't even... I didn't even see the last one, but let's do this. Walk. And get shot. Oh! That's, that's a good way to get shot. Alright, let's do that, and let's bite her. Nope! It's like our webbing... Our webbing is strong enough to suffocate her, but not to hold her hands together. Stinger! Nope! That's not gonna do it. You know, I didn't even try. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here that I can click on. Because that would be kind of cool if you could, like, click on something and it's a secret ending. What if I do that, and then I gas her? Let's sting her. Bite her. And that was not, uh, the full... The full Monty, as it were. Mutation. Mutation actually requires you to get all of the, uh... All of the attacks in one go. So now we're gonna sting her. We're gonna claw her before she dies. And then, ew, 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 ew. Now appearing on The Muppet Show. Whatever the hell that is. And that, my friends, is The Visitor Returns in 15 minutes or less. I enjoyed this game. It was short. It was simple. wasn't too difficult. Lots of fun. A lot of creepy imagery. Would have been great to play this for Halloween if it had come out on Newgrounds like it was supposed to, but it didn't. Oh well. Until next time.
Bye-bye.